Hey everybody, it's Jed Johnson from Diesel Crew. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for checking out this video today. It's pretty important to me. Uh, I came out here because I wanted, wanted to get some good light. Uh, the sun is actually right above me now, so it doesn't matter where I stand, there ends up being shadows, but hopefully this looks a little bit better than what you see in my garage. I just wanted to take a few moments now and talk about somebody that's very important in both the sport that I love, the sport of grip sport, but also, you know, just in my life in general, and that is Richard Soren. You've probably heard the name Sorenex before. It's uh, the, the company that Richard and his son run. Uh, you may have heard his name before. Richard was actually the very first captain of Crush, the first man certified for closing the classic Iron Mine grippers. Richard also uh, coined the term blob. Okay, he uh, he, in a as a, as the story goes, he was cleaning up around a, a, a job that he had just outfitted a gym at, and there was a, there was all kinds of these broken dumbbells. He threw them into the car. At one point, he went to pick up a half 100 pound blob, and he could not do it. He picked up everything out, but everything else. But he went to pick up a half 100 pound dumbbell. And he couldn't quite do it. And he focused his training on that until he could lift that. And he named it the blob. Now the reason I'm doing this video for Richard Soren, like I said, he's very important to me. I think that story is very inspiring because, now I don't think a lot of people would actually do that. I don't think a lot of people would see something like that and, and, and challenge themselves to eventually pick a broken dumbbell like that up. Nobody had ever done that before, not as far as we know. And it takes a little something special to challenge themselves, something like that, something that's never been done before. You know, Richard's a pioneer in grip strength. And lately, Richard has had a rough time. He had an accident recently. He actually had some pretty serious, uh, a pretty serious injury to his head. He's got nerve damage. He's having a hard time with his balance and uh, his, his grip. It turns out things are coming along very well, but I just wanted to send this message out to him to let him know that I'm thinking of him, and I hope that you guys will do the same. What I'm hoping you'll do is take this video and post it on Facebook, paste it on your blog, post it on a forum that you go to, whatever. Just, just like it on Facebook. Like it here on YouTube. I just want to or even leave a, leave a comment below here on YouTube. I just want to show Richard Soren how many people are behind him. Richard's very important to me. Um, I remember at the 2004 Night of Strength. This was uh, the Friday night after all of the activities uh, at the first day of the Arnold Classic. We all got together and it was called the Night of Strength. And Richard strolled in there and basically did all of the grip feats that uh, everybody was doing or missing at. He went and did them all. And what, what, what I thought was most impressive was the fact that he took a block weight that up until that point I was the only one that had, he, that had lifted it. He added weight to it. He took magnet weights to it, added it to it, and lifted it, lifted it with ease. I tried it, I couldn't even come close. He brought his original blob that day. I couldn't even get it off the ground. But the thing is, I've had a couple moments in my life where lifting was very important to me. Lifting got me through those challenges. I could have easily just quit, not lifted, not done anything. Uh, made big mistakes with relationships that I had, uh, walked out on people in my family. I could have easily done that, but instead, lifting, in, in particular, grip training, kept me on track. I have a very, very big collection of block weights. Block weight training is the type of lifting that I love the most, out of all things in grip. And I never would have gotten into that into block weight lifting if it weren't for Richard Soren. So in a lot of ways, Richard Soren and the Blob have helped me out a great deal in my life. And I'm very, very thankful to Richard for that. 
It breaks my heart to find out that he's had this accident. I'm super pumped to see that he's not giving up, and once again, he's approaching this as just another challenge. I know back several years ago, he had cancer. He fought through that and won. And I know that he's going to fight through this one and win as well. This is just another challenge, just another page in his book. But won't you show the respect and the support for Richard that I want to by sharing this video or leaving a comment below. Just letting Richard know that we're thinking of him. Do that for me. I, I would greatly appreciate it. Thanks a lot, everybody, and thank you, Richard, for everything that you've done for me personally, for the sport of grip, and for everybody else out there. I wish you the best, brother. Take care. See ya.